Hey everybody, welcome to the Toy Collection Update, the part of Odd Pod where I show you all the latest additions to my ever-growing toy collection. So let's begin. So let's start off with something turtles. Uh, we'll start with the Hero Turtles card game. That's uh, from Waddington's. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is just Snap, basically. Uh, I'll get the cards out now and show you. I think I had this when I was a kid. But basically, yep, you got the back, it says Hero Turtles. And then you get all the different cards. You got, um, yeah, Raph doing a quite a strange pose. I don't know why he's doing a dancing, maybe. And basically, I, I'm pretty sure it's like a match the pairs or some sort of, um, yeah, snap game because there's two of every one. Uh, you got a Rat King, then, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's the first part. Uh, oh, the first new edition, I should say, uh, of my collection. So, yeah, that's quite cool. I'll, I'll put it back in its thing in a bit. Next up we have, what should I show you next? Um, something else turtles, I guess. Um, it's pretty much, actually, what you can see right there on the wall. I got these quite a while ago, but they're still, they're still new editions. And they are the 3D plastic... Um, and I don't really want to call them posters, the wall hangers, I guess you can call them. They've got a little thing if you want to nail them up or just blue tack them. Uh, a few of them are cracked a little bit, but I've got this one. This is the Donatello one. We've got a Raphael one. It's pretty cool. And these are all official as well. They all say underneath, um, 1990 Mirage Studios. Uh, I've got this Leo one, but it's a bit broken at the bottom. But it's alright if it's on the wall. Wouldn't really matter. Uh, I've got a Michelangelo one. Very cool. Um, and I think, oh no, it's a different one. I got a Raphael and Donatello one as well. I might put that near the um, Leonardo and Michelangelo one. The only problem is the T is a bit broken off there. Obviously, you know, they've been around for a long time, these, and yeah, they've been on walls and been battered around, and it's very, very thin plastic, so, you know, they're bound to get battered a bit, but they're cool. I got them quite cheap for a whole pile of them, so it's not bad. Uh, put them down there. What should we go for next? Okay, we'll go for. Heathcliff! Um, yeah, really cool Teddy Heathcliff. I didn't watch the cartoon that much as a kid, but I did like the character. Um, yeah, so I like Heathcliff. He's really cool. Apparently he's got a, a new movie going to be made soon of him. So that's quite cool. Yeah, I like Heathcliff. He's got a cool little tail and everything. Very cool character. Uh, next up we have... Ah, here we go. Got a Snorlax from fellow YouTuber Jeff Solo. So thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate that. Yeah, I haven't got a Snorlax like this, so it's really, really cool. So yeah, thank you Jeff Solo for sending me this very cool Snorlax. Really appreciate it. And Jeff Solo, if I remember, your the link to your channel will be in the description below. So everybody, please check it out and please subscribe. He's a cool guy. So yeah, thanks for that. I really do appreciate that. Next up we have... Beano. Yeah, thought of panel... Oh, pile. Bought a few Beano magazines, I think it was a pound for all these. Uh, the first one is from June 1994. I was like, ooh, that's the one at the front. I thought that's really cool, June 94. Then all the rest of them, unfortunately, are from 2003. So it's still cool, it's still from the you know early 2000s, you know, still quite old, but yeah, they're all from like, yeah, 2003. So the top one is the real one, the real retro one. So that's the one I'll be um, probably doing a review on in the future if I can get hold of a few more. So that's cool. Got some beanos. Um, well, next up, another turtle thing. Sorry about that. <laughs> There's a few things piled up. Uh, got these two turtles. Um, I'm not sure. Are they called turtle samurai or robo turtles? Or I I'm not really sure. I never saw these ones as a kid. Uh, they're from 1994. Um, unfortunately, they must fire their arms or something, but yeah, both arms are um, missing, or hands I should say, on all of them, so I'm a bit gutted about that, but they were super cheap, I think it was like £3 they cost me for both of them, not each, for both of them, so I thought that was quite cool, I don't know if they transform or do something, or I have really no idea, but they're cool, they seem like they do something, but yeah, I never saw these ones as a kid, but um, they're quite cool, I do like them, not bad, so yeah, got Leo and Donny. Very cool. Uh, next up we have... I can move this little bit further away. I have a Monster Munch Tazos collection. Um, no idea if this would be the full set or not. I won't get it out of the sleeve or anything, but I'll probably do a video in the future. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a bunch of um, Tazos. And, oh, there we go, actually. 
I think a while ago I mentioned my favourite flavour Monster Munch ever was spaghetti um, bolognese flavour. I don't think it was spaghetti bolognese flavour, I think it was just called bolognese flavour. And that is the Monster from bolognese flavour. Best flavour Monster Munch ever and they should so bring it back. But yeah, they're cool. Um, don't know how many are here. Uh, I'll go through them sometime. But um, yeah, quite cool though. Yeah, Monster Munch Tazos. Uh, next up we have something Pokemon. We have a Pokemon Play-Doh character maker. Uh, never saw this years ago, so I thought that was quite cool. The Play-Doh has um, been used, if I can open it and show you. Just got a few empty things of Play-Doh there, but I will be buying more Play-Doh. This will be reviewed in the future, and then you make little sculpts out of the... Um, out of this, so you can make little Pikachu's and I think it's Jigglypuff and a few others. Uh, there is one thing of Play-Doh here. I'm going to keep it in that though. It's a bit squishy. It's all right. It's a bit tough though. And yeah, that's quite cool. I'll, I'll be doing a review on that in the future. Um, there's the back of it. If you want to see the back of it. But, um, yeah, seems pretty cool. I like that. So yeah, I got that. Next up, we have. Burger King Turtles toys. So there's quite a few of them here, so I'll show you two at a time if I can. They're from 1990. So we have these two, and then I saw these as a kid, friends had them, but I never really went Burger King as a kid, I went McDonald's. But um, yeah, these cool. You can reverse these as well, so that one can become Leo and that one can become Shredder if you just reverse them. So they're quite cool. Got two of this one. These are Mikey's, and I, f I don't know if you actually put them on your hand like that. I think you might do, and then you flip this little bit on there, it's like a magnifying glass. So, that's quite cool, unusual but cool. Uh, next up, <laughs> next up we've got a Michelangelo one, but he looks derpy. He looks, look at that face. <laughs> and you, um, you press this button and then it says, Cowabunga! And yeah, it just does that, but just look at that face. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just it's a great face. Let's see if I can do it. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cool though. Let me know if you had any of these Burger King toys, by the way. Um, we've got this one. It says Zap, and then you open it, and it's Shredder. So that's quite cool. Um, another one. Um, <laughs> it's another one for weird face. It's Leonardo, first degree hero, and then you push up the back if I can do it, and then. Look at that face. <laughs> Just that face is crazy. Uh, I've got two of those, so I've got another one there. That's pretty cool. Uh, next up, this one I really I really do like. It's a, um, it's a Raph. He's got a crazy face, and yeah, it's got a little sucker thing, so I think it's for like, just windows and stuff, and his arms move, and yeah, I think that's quite cool. I really like that one. So yeah, like I said, they're all from Birking Range. I think this one's from Birking as well. Uh, I can't feel see a... Um, Mark thing on that. I can't see it. But yeah, it's really cool. Uh, last of all, another one with a face. It looks a bit more like a Muppet than this one. It's uh, another Raph one. It's got a bit of paint on the front, but <laughs> look at that beak. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's a toothbrush holder. Seems like you could put a toothbrush in there, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is a toothbrush holder. But um, yeah, that's pretty cool as well. So I've got all those. Um, two more things now. I have a Hero Turtles action pinball. It's a, uh, I think it's an electronic pinball game. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if I had this as a kid, you know. I can't remember. But yeah, battery operated Hero Turtles action pinball. That's pretty cool. And last of all is another Turtles pinball game. This one's quite big. Um, yeah, it's not electronic this one. Uh, basically you shoot the ball up, and this actually turns as well, so you can turn it in different ways. And basically you've got to try and get it to the 500 point mark up there. Uh, I didn't actually do that one, yeah, not that skilled. But yeah, you sort of, it, it's unusual, you sort of move it, and then you fire the ball, and then it goes, uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Never saw this one ever, but um, I really do like it, it's kind of cool. So yeah, there's that. That is. I don't even know what this one was actually called. I think it's just another pinball one. And that's from 1990 as well. So yeah, I can't really show you the light sort of shining, but um, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's just like I said, it's just weird that everything swerves and changes. I've never seen anything like that, so I really like that. 
that's very cool. So yeah, that is my, if there's anything else, no doubt there is. That is um, the latest additions to my ever-growing toy collection. Really hope you enjoyed it. Um, please leave comments below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you had any of it. You know, stuff like that. Um, like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll see you on the next one. Really hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you soon. Bye.